Well, um, Steve, how, I suppose, how do you sum up that series in the end? Uh, disappointing. Uh, we, we've been outplayed in, um, in four of the five games. Um, you know, we're, I guess looking at the series, we've... Um, the batting collapses that we've talked about have uh, have continued. Um, our starting with the ball's been not great in four of the five games, I think. And um, you know you can't afford to to do both of those things against good oppositions like this England One Day team at the moment. Is it a case of, to an extent, back to the drawing board now, a few months off before the next ODI series, but that sort of the CA Brains Trust and, and yourself will need to have a bit of a think about the way forward in one-day cricket? Yeah, we're going to have to, to have a talk about it. Um, you know, it's probably been a good year since we've played good one-day cricket. So, um, you know, we've got a, a lot of improving to do if, we're, if we want to be a force in the World Cup in um, just over 12 months' time or whatever it is. Just on Marcus Stoinis, what did you make of his knock today? I thought he played well. Um, it would have been great to see him get 100 and, and be not out at the end and, and get the boys home. Um, it's probably those those little things that we've been missing um, for a while now, that those guys that are going on to, to get a score aren't going on to make a big one and and help get the boys home and and others batting around them. Um, you know, those are the, the things that have, have really hurt us and... Um, he played well for his 90-odd, his but it would have been great to see him get 120 not out and, and get the guys home. Now that number three position, um, do you feel like you've kind of found a, a long-term solution there with his knock? Um, we'll, we'll wait and see. Um, we, we've got some thinking to do before our next lot of one days. Um, I guess the beauty with Marcus is he can he can bat anywhere. Um, you know, we've seen him bat really well at the end and and use the power that he's got. He's, he's a strong lad and can hit it anywhere, so... Um, or clear the ropes anywhere in the world. So we've got a bit of a luxury with him. He, he can bat in, in a, a whole heap of positions. Steve, Joe, Joe Root has, has spoken to us about how much he's been glad to sort of pass the reins on and, and just focus on being a batsman after the sort of mental challenges of captaining in the ashes. Is there any part of you that, that envies him that or do you, are you still happy to sort of lead across the, across the board? I'm, I'm happy leading these boys at the moment. Um, unfortunately, I, I haven't done as well with the bat in this series as I would have liked. Um, probably both me and Davey as the senior players haven't stepped up and you know we, we were talking about it just before um, and that really hurts your, your team when your two senior players aren't, aren't scoring the runs that they need to be. So, look, I'm, I'm feeling... Um, yeah, I, I, I'd like to keep taking this team forward and... Um, and leading the boys and, and doing the best I can.